Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2018 save here with Hearts. And we had a little tiny, tinsy little technical difficulty and I did not do rolling saves. I got to a point, I don't know if anyone's had this since the update, but um, like basically every time that there was a, a shot, a goal or whatever, it would just freeze. The game was still responding, you could go and check stuff out, but the, the, just the match wouldn't progress any further. I've changed and checked some stuff, it seems to be running really well, actually really, really well at the minute, so hopefully uh, we're back working fine. But I didn't have my rolling saves on, I turned it off for a simulation I'd been doing uh, where I'd been checking something out going into the future. And uh, yeah, so we lost the game. I lost, it was really... A down moment because I lost a lot but we have the massive game against Dundee United the first game of the season coming up in this episode but let's just have a run through the schedule and see what's happened so I holidayed in Venice I know we lost it 3-2 I holidayed it I would have kept on holidaying it until we lost it that was basically my idea we lost on penalty uh, well we drew lost on penalties i had no idea that that still gave us a point but it does apparently in the betfred cup but it hasn't made any difference because we beat dumberton 4-0 uh harry corain uh ishmael uh anomo and manuel milanovic getting the goals i've picked some fantastic names anomo scoring again uh nememe getting a hat trick against clyde and milanovic getting and they scored an on goal the biggest issue is we conceded three against clyde <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure they're a, yeah they're a League Two side, so conceding free against Clyde was a bit frustrating. We then played against Queens Park. Callum Morrison, Francesco Fort, and Enomo getting the goals. Um, they did again score a goal, so I'm going to have to look into defensively what happens. It was a defensive mistake though by Alex uh, Alex um, Petkov, who we gave the game. So let's quickly run through the transfers and see what's happened. This has been the most intense and longest transfer period i've ever done just simply with the amount of trials i have been through that many trials now i can't remember where i left you i think i showed you that mallory uh, martin was out aiden white has gone ad white he's gone to dundee united so he will be making a return so it's a bit of a fierce rivalry for us this uh morton had signed uh liam smith from us and lewis moore on loan and nathan duran's gone on loan to a um uh a brow a brath yeah cool um so we've signed uh miguel falano again I, I did very well with finding myself nice names he was a free he's a pretty decent defender in the grand scheme of things he's our third best defender and i just think for a season um or two he will be decent and good for tutoring francesco fort came in on loan or forte um i just think he's a good player i like him in general i'm a bit of an inter milan fan um and um I've used him in other saves and I've just quite liked the guy so I decided to sign him. I don't know if he'll go anywhere in terms of their young strikers. He's 100% not one of the best but um, yeah why not? We have a valued 1.5 million striker. He's probably not going to start though. We signed Xavi Bueno on a, uh, on a free. I mean he looks brilliant for a free transfer. He's our third best central midfielder. I have been trying to get rid of Arnold, yeah, simply because I can't say his name and he's worth a lot of money. Uh, Jordan Clark came in, he's our now best right-sided defender. Conor Randall, remember, is on loan, so this is a great move for us, really, in the grand scheme of things, because we now have a permanent player at uh, right-back who we own. Uh, and he's 26, so he's decent age. And uh, Thomas Chenezo, yeah, <laughs> Cheza. Uh, the French goalkeeper just came in. He's just promising. He was on a free. We're not paying him much. I just felt like it was worth a while. There's still probably quite a lot of transfer dealings to be done. There's still players I want out. But I feel like it's my guard now. I feel like it's my team. And hopefully moving forward we can progress. But here we go guys. Team selection already. This is going to be a quick episode. I'm going to manage it. It's fine. We've got it. So... Milinovic is going to start on the left. On the right will not be Morrison, though. I am afraid, my friend. Uh, Neneme. Yeah. Or Aaron, as he likes to be called, will be starting there. Uh, 
Uh, do I start Davide? I think I do and Prince Bourbon or Bourbon. I'm going to call him Bourbon just because I like the biscuit. Um, I really do think we're probably going to let this dude go. I'm going to actually transfer list him as well for the first time. Um, I just think a million pound would be great, wouldn't it? And I don't feel like I need him. I would rather that... Um, that other players got games, to be honest with you. That's just the feeling at the moment. Where is he? Harry Kachane, for me, or Karain, yeah. Uh, old Harry here. I just feel like I would rather he was starting. He's 17 year old. The guy looks like he's going to be a future absolute beast. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't, I don't know. Just don't see the need to start him. Where's Esmail? You are starting up front. This is your opportunity. Do not let me down. Francesco Forte will be on the bench. Um, I'm thinking about loaning out uh, Sabri. Um, I can't see him getting that much game time. Because as soon as Jamie Walker comes back. Um, who is, how far out is he? Six weeks to three months quite a while so maybe we might keep him around but I just don't see him getting getting in this position so I am going to offer him out on loan actually just for this season it's all about building blocks for the future and I think his future is on, on loan this year yeah definitely on loan because Xavi Bueno oh my Bueno yeah that was terrible he's coming in Petkov of course will not be starting stupid but we are going to give Jordan Clark his first start uh, and I have the rotation I think Petco we're going to uh, loan out as well actually let's get these youngsters out on loan he is being tutored by uh, Christoph Bearer but I feel like I'm going to let him go out on loan because uh, Miguel and Harry Lennon they're both more than suitable to play central defence um, so yeah, in the next round, actually, I didn't touch enough. I think we're playing it next. Yeah, in the next round, we've got Falkirk in the Betfred Cup, which is a championship team. So I'm hoping to keep progressing. I am very mindful that all these teams, even Inverness, was a championship level team. Yeah, all these teams are not high ranked teams. So this really is the real first test. Um, and let's... Mm. slightly deeper let's start like this they're a newly promoted side so we're gonna go standard uh oh number with the yeah, they're a newly promoted side so really realistically if we're being honest with ourselves this should be a win there is bad blood here though because this is Dundee are the team that sacked me we've sold players to them yeah dressing room uh, let's just give it to the assistant who's going to be awful because that's his job. Match fitness should be good for us all, really. Uh, I have faith. Yeah, we should all be pretty decent on the match fitness front. And I'm hoping this goes well. Uh, we only need mid-table. I think I've got it on extended as well. No, I've got it on key. I'm trying to speed through the Betfred Cup. It was last night, right? Well, it wasn't last night. It was early this morning that um, I had the crashes and I had to fix it there and then but apart from that it was just oh I was so angry because I just lost all the and it's taken so long to get through this summer like I was saying in the last episode it's, it's probably all round with the crash taking me about 10 hours that summer should not take that long I'm looking for a good performance and oh hopefully a victory I need to see how this tactic plays out I'm very aware that teams like this we should be beating I am 100% mindful of that fact this is a team we should be beating Milinovic, we have got a stronger side. Isma. <sighs> we got to be finishing these though. Two clear-cut chances already. 
He's got to prove that he deserves to be starting up front because I will, I will change. We have good strikers on the bench. Thierry on, uh, Ambrose, Francesco Forte. He is not guaranteed. He was before, but he's not guaranteed that spot now. I'm going to favour him because we own him. Um, and I don't want to rely on a lone player all the time. But if he can't do it, he can't do it. Come on, don't let them pressure us. Nice passing, Neneme. We've definitely got an improved squad. I think we've got an improved squad. I've got a defined squad. I know what this squad is now. Milanovic, Anomo, finish it. I think he's going to be big for us this year in that shadow striker position. I am retraining him to it as well. Uh, but I am very uh, very aware of not getting way too ahead of myself. So we've picked up. So let's look to counter now. We've picked up the goal. We're in control. Let's look to counter. Let them try and come at us because I don't think they've got enough. Let's frustrate them. Oh, okay, they've had four shots now, but that's it's too to be imagined. I feel like we break quickly. We've got some very fast players. And Armo. Oh, is that crossbar? He's picked up a knock. Hmm, this this is not. Go screw yourself, Keatings. Did we just give away a penalty? No, great tackle, Bearer. <laughs> no, of course we didn't. I believe that'll be half time. Is it? Are we gonna? Are you gonna blow? Is the whistle being blown? Yep. Yes, it is. Right. I'm happy we performed so far. Let's keep things high. Let's keep things popping. Let's take Ismail off because I really don't want injuries. Let's bring on Thierry Ambrose up front. Um, he's going to play as an advance forward. He's not playing as anything else. Um... Hmm, I think we leave it at that. I'm just going to exploit the middle. And go normal tempo. We don't need to be going massively up tempo for a, for a counter-attacking style of football. Milanovic with a free kick. Oh, beautiful. This is why I brought him back on loan. Fantastic. Well, playing on the counter seems to have... Uh, well, we've just got a free kick, so playing on the counter hasn't. But um, I feel I feel pretty comfortable um, that mid-table is 100% a position we can achieve, as they're probably going to score now. No. Uh, is a position we can achieve. I think, for me, it's it's now building for the future so that the, the team and the squad, especially getting rid of this debt... Because I want us to have money as a club. Because um, we're going to need it to win the league and to be in Europe and whatnot. So we need to be debt free. Let's be running on our own. Let's be debt free and not paying back a, a large debt. I think it was 2.5 million. Which isn't huge. But in Scotland isn't small either considering the, uh, the income. So hopefully building blocks with good younger players. Ambrose should be slotting that in. We've had four clear-cut chances. We've managed to create four clear-cut chances. Let's tell him to calm down a bit. Tell him to calm down a bit. Never hurt anyone to uh, to be calm, cool, and collected in these kind of scenarios. Is is one hundred percent what I tell everyone. But anyway guys, if you've made it this far into the episode, please drop a like on it. It really does help the channel. And also feel free to subscribe. It's uh, It really does help to... You know, I think I'd do it regardless. Because I just enjoy doing it. I just enjoy talking to myself. I really do. But no, it, it just... It does. It helps the channel. It helps me be motivated, for one. And uh, it's just a sign of shipot. Uh, shipot. 
support. And uh, yeah, feel free 100% to uh, drop a subscribe. And then you will know when episodes are uploaded. There is also the Leon save if you haven't spotted it or noticed it. If this is the first video you've watched of mine, there is a Leon save. I don't know if that would interest you or not. But uh, we are in season 3 of that. Seems to be going well. Kind of. Kind of going well. Alright. Let's not let them score because we are keen on letting other teams score. Mm, let's go contain and let's go because I don't want to become a team that throws away leads not what I'm about let's bring on Xavi Bueno I am aware I'm probably taking my best chance of scoring off the pitch but it doesn't matter um, let's do the player instructions, apply, um, and retain possession now. Let's keep the ball, guys. Let's keep the ball. Let's not let them have the ball for the next four minutes. Uh, let the ref blow the whistle. Nope, some late drama here. And they're going to score, I can feel it. And it's over. Thank the Lord. No, there's not supposed to be another highlight now. This is, uh, there's been a mistake. This, this isn't supposed to be a highlight. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, please, just absolutely saved. For ho ho ho, fudgicals. Not allowed to swear anymore. It, uh, they have turned around, they've gone that attacking. Maybe we should have tried counteracting that instead of letting them put pressure on us they were attacking that much that maybe we should have started piling the pressure on on top but he saw learning curve but they've ended up coming out with more shots than us by quite a long shot but in terms of clear cut chances we we really did we, we are beat them um but it's a victory it was a hard fought victory i mean i feel like maybe if i was less chicken james keynes just looks so good i mean he's just a money fountain for them if I'm Dundee again, like, I'm just, I'm raking in that cash because of Keaton's, because I don't think he's going to, uh, they've got a good enough squad for this season. They haven't improved it that much anyway. Uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe I shouldn't have been chicken and maybe pushed a little bit more to go further forward. We definitely had the upper hand, but nevertheless, it's the first live com of the season. Well, the league proper. And it is a victory, and we do sit top of the table, so that's if we just end the season now. Very good. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one. Um, not sure, as per usual, how far forward we're going to go. Probably far. But uh, I'm not. I don't know, I can't decide. I will just come back when there has been some significant changes, hopefully. We can sit mid-table. I think in Scotland, the top team is Champions League, second and third Europa League. That is how I understand it. Uh, European, European. Prize money is so bad. The difference between first and... and, and there's just not that much difference. Qualification. Uh, right. Okay. That's not European, though, is it? Where's the European rules? There, there surely is continental qualification. Top team qualifies for the Champions League. Uh, first qualifying phase is ridiculous. Uh, and team second and third qualify for the Euro Cup. First qualifying round. So you have... We really need to improve the stock in Scotland so that there is more. So hopefully if we can get a Euro Cup place eventually... Uh, we can start doing that um, and just, just qualify for the group, I'm sure, would just be better. I mean, the fact that we're entering the Euro Cup in the first qualifying round is pretty intense. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.